Hi guys, welcome back to a very long overdue YouTube video. So it's Monday morning, it's our groom's day off, and today it's just me and my boyfriend doing the horses. So yeah, let's get going. And yes, I am in the kitchen, and that is the arena. Literally, dreams. There's the horses. This is the place where we're renting at the moment. So yeah, usually it's me, my boyfriend and our groom, but today is our groom's day off. So it's just me and my boyfriend today. So we've got a little bit of extra work to do. So let's go. Okay. About five layers on. Yeah, literally. Let's go. Gotta go give everybody here their breakfast and then we're gonna go to the other barn and put out all the mares and foals in the paddocks. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, now off to the mares and foals. Okay, let's do this. This is Ariana, she's four. She is due to fall in less than a month. Let's have a little check. Time to get some milk. Hello, Ariana. Good girl, Ariana. Off to the paddock for the day. There's River. This is next due to foal in Amarada. She is our lovely surrogate mare. She is carrying a foal of Gabanas. That's by Diorado. And you are due to foal around the 18th of April. So not long now at all. Hello. <laughs> These other two lovely ladies. This is Elefante, as we call her. Her name's actually Lily on her passport, but she's uh, rather chunky, as you can see. I feel like this doesn't do her justice, but she's really chunky. So we call her Elefante. And this is Clarina. So these two ladies, oh, this is okay. If you don't want to hear about the mares and foals, probably skip forward like two minutes. Okay, so how we ended up with these two surrogate ladies is, they're both carrying Gabbana's foals. Um, we did two embryo transfers last year, one with Diorado, who I just mentioned the clip before. And we did one with uh, Tangelo van de Sudov. Tangelo is actually the stallion who River and Ariana are pregnant to. They are due first, as I mentioned. Um, and we, they were already pregnant to Tangelo. Um, and then we actually saw Tangelo in real life. And I thought he would be a wonderful compliment for Gabbana. So we decided to do one more embryo transfer and Gabbana had twins and the twin embryos survived, which is very lucky. I was very, very lucky. And yes, they're inside these two lovely ladies. They're due to fall at the start of May. <laughs> and yeah, so the surrogate mares actually came from the embryo transfer clinic, but we're hoping to keep these ladies. They're experienced mothers. They're all around eight, nine, ten years old, but the three of them are really lovely, as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully these ladies are good moms and hopefully you'll be seeing more of these guys. Good. It's Elefante again. She's honestly, you're so sweet. Okay, I gotta go get the other horses and the hay. Let's go. I should also clarify, Ariana actually belongs to a good friend of ours, but the foal is ours and Ariana will stay after she's had her foal and the baby is weaned um, to be broken in under saddles. So yes, yeah, she'll be sticking around for a while, but in the meantime, the, the real focus is just healthy delivery of all the babies. Heading back down to get some more horses. So this week we are waiting for a, we've ordered a birth alarm. This is the first year that I've actually gonna see one of my own foals being born. I've always lived in another country and not had the mares with me. So this is really exciting. Also, yeah, lots, to, lots of planning has to be done, lots to do to be ready, to be prepared. So yes, we've ordered a birth alarm. The vet comes and inserts that into the mare. So whenever she is giving birth, the alarm goes off and you, there's no false alarms. It's not like the ones you put around the girth and sometimes the mare can dislodge them when she rolls and stuff. Um, no, like with this. They're falling. Ah, and speaking of falls, here's Corvo, Panama, or Pacific. It's all the folinis. <laughs> Need to get the ponies first. Are you ready, my little trick pony? Gonna give us a big smile. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. 
So those are the pregnant ladies. Now we're off to the field with Apple. We're gonna do a little bit of trick training later. A little bit of liberty work perhaps, right? Very. Go. 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 Just going down to get tart and crumble now. Tart and crumble are one year, one and a half years old and two and a half years old. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Here comes Tart and Crumble and Bernie. <laughs> Hello Crumble. Hello Tart. Hi Crumble. Hi Tart. <laughs> oh, they're very friendly as you can see. Oh dear. <laughs> Thank you. That's my ear. <laughs> You're so cute. This is Tart. Tart's one and a half and Crumble is two and a half. Apple is six, I've had apple for a year. But these guys have only been around since December. Yes. <laughs> they don't know any tricks yet. Apple knows quite a few things by this stage. But these guys, I've just been kind of getting to know them. And as you can see, they're quite, uh, quite lovely. <laughs> We're not, come on, you need a little bit of a uh, love tart. I think tart's gonna be an excellent little trick pony. I think Crumble might shine as a driving pony. We do have a little carriage now. So maybe when you're older. <laughs> go, go, go. Go, Perry. I've got a Pomeranian attached to my shoe. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Pacific. Now, almost one year old. Oh, look at the dirt on my face. <laughs> dear, dear. <laughs> I think that was from one of the ponies. Oh, well. But yes, here's Pacific. Panama and Corvo are in front. One second. Ah, oh, Pacific. Boys. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Hi, Corvo. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Can you tell who's the boss? <laughs> this cheeky chappy. Hey Panama Pacific, please, honestly. <laughs> right, okay, next job. Cut the head. <laughs> Cleaning up the old hair, putting down some new hair. Very flexible tart, nicely done. Okay, back to work. Time for a little mucking out montage. In this barn, we have nine stables to muck out every day. And in the other barn where the mare foals are, there are 10 stables to muck out every day. Usually when we're mucking out, the horses all go on the walker machine, but today the walker machine was having maintenance work done, so the horses all just went straight out to the field. I forgot to film that, my bad. So I am halfway done mucking out Brad's stable. Barry and Bernie are going in a new bill. Hey. <laughs> hey, Hank. <laughs> you said hi, Barry. <laughs> So today there was only two of us mucking out, so it took a little bit longer than usual. But hopefully in the next month or two when the weather improves, all the horses will go back to sleeping outside in their little herds. So we won't have to do too much mucking out for too much longer, hopefully. So as you can see, all the horses get a lot of hay. We always give them more than they can eat so that they always have something to pick at. Very important for their gut health. All clean. There's Barry. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so that was our morning yard routine right up until we have our first break have a cup of tea for 20 minutes after our break then we work all the horses i'm gonna do that in a separate vlog so this one is not too long but yeah i am happy to be back on youtube i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah please like comment and subscribe bye thanks for watching